You got problems? I get it. I totally get it. I got problems too. Adults have adult sized problems. Kids have kid sized problems. Pastors have problems where they have to do a kid's message with nobody around. You know what problems are kind of like? They're kind of like ping pong balls, but not in the fun way. Adult problems could be worrying about money or worrying about a job. Kid problems could be worrying about a subject in school you're not really good at, or maybe a fight that you had with a friend. Anyone's problems could be worrying about your family's health, feeling lonely, worrying that you said something mean to a friend, worrying because a friend said something mean to you, your dog died, your parents fight, you worry about the past, you worry about the future, you worry about what other people think. For a believer in Jesus, problems could be following God when there's so many distractions. I think you get the idea. In fact, your problems may seem less like this and more like this. Even Jesus said, in this world, you will have trouble. And that means that your problems can not only feel like this, but like this. So you're going to have trouble. That's a promise. But that's where Easter comes in. Because check this out. If Jesus were just a guy giving advice, that wouldn't help me stand firm. I can give myself advice. Sometimes it might even be good. But because Jesus rose from the dead, that shows me that he's more than just someone who teaches me, who gives me advice. I can stand firm knowing that he is greater than my problems even the problems that separate me from God. So, because Jesus was raised from the dead, and because I belong to him, now, even in the midst of troubles, I can stand firm. So Jesus said, in this world you will have trouble. Then he also said, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. And then he showed that he overcame the world when he rose from the dead. That's the power of Easter, because that is the power of the resurrection of Jesus.